Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. <laughs> Fantastic. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Ooh, I'm starting to really like the recipes from this brewery. This is from the Fat Orange Cat. Now, this is contract brewed by 12% Brewery out of North Haven, Connecticut. And this is someone in my head. That's what it says. Oh, now, if you watch my channel very much, it reminds me of a frauditor. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is double dry hopped with Simcoe hops. And it checks in at a mind-blowing 8.75% alcohol by volume. Ooh, that's not for lightweights. Mm. Got to be careful. 8.75%. Open her carefully. Got to respect the beer. It's like opening a hot radiator on a hot July day after you've driven a couple hundred miles. Be cautious. Hey, we're going to use our lovely Libby glassware tonight. Yeah. Libby had a, a, a patent lawsuit with Spiegelau. I said that before. I don't know what happened. But Libby redesigned their glass. It's still got a nucleated bottom. It's really cool, though. It's a 16-ounce glass. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Because, look, it's not that much bigger than the can. See? It's not that much bigger. But anyway, we have a 16-ounce can. 16-ounce glass. you got to be careful with this because watch how fast that head will build up. That's that nucleated bottom. Once that beer hits the bottom, it swirls around and makes the foam rise much quicker. So if you want to pour it straight in on a nucleated glass, good luck with that, baby, because you're going to have about nine inches of foam and a half inch of beer. Oh, my gosh. Another tropical fruit bomb. Who would have guessed? <laughs> That's what uh, Fat Orange Cat does best, though. The double dry hopped. It's either with Simcoe, Galaxy, or mm, what's the other one? Simcoe, Galaxy. I uh, can't think of the other one. I'll think of it in a minute. Simcoe, Galaxy. Oh, I can't think of it. Yeah, they, they primarily use three types of hops. And you know what you're going to get before you open the can. Yeah. Anyway, this is a very beautiful orange color. I think you would agree with a slightly off-white head. And that foam is going to stick around. That's solid. That's solid. That's not going anywhere. That is in there. Now let's go ahead and top it off. Somebody wrote to me once and said, you think you're at the gas station topping it off? I said, this is far from gasoline, my man. <laughs> this is not gasoline. Speaking of gasoline, my corner service station right down the street as a, a uh, beer selection, a craft beer selection, you wouldn't believe. Next time I go in there, I'm going to ask the owner's permission just to take a few pictures or maybe a short video. He'll say it's okay. I don't really have to ask him, but I want to be polite about it. You won't believe the beer selection for a corner gas station. You won't believe it. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And then the convenient... A food market across the street has an even bigger selection. <laughs> a convenient food market. Come on. Anyway, look at that lovely foam. Look at that. Let's get some aroma here. <sighs> That's tropical fruit. I'm just going to guess and say some mango, some passion fruit, and some pineapple. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's what these brewers do. That's what they do. Amarillo was the other hop I'm trying to think of. Yeah, so uh, Simcoe, Galaxy, and Amarillo seems to be the three hops that Fat Orange Cat uh, focuses on. I know they have other hops, but that's, that's what I see. Let me thank the brewers at 12% because it is contract brewed, but the, uh, the people at Fat Orange Cat for coming up with the recipe Everybody who's involved in bringing this beer to market, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's watching. Cheers to everybody. Mmm, man, is that smooth. 
You see, this is what I don't understand. Years ago, when you would drink a high alcohol beer like this, you would pick up on the alcohol rather quickly. You would say, hmm, man, that's good, but ooh, that alcohol is killer. I'm not saying that. It looked, I, you see, this, this camera can't pick that up. Man, that is a rocky hit. Look at the lacing that's clinging to the side of the glass. I can't, I can't do that. I can't fake that. There's nothing I can do to pretend and, and make it happen. That's the beer. That's it. It's a great tasting beer. Oh, man. This is leaning towards a full body beer with medium carbonation and it tastes just lovely. Oh, so smooth and easy drinking. It's a joy to have a beer like this. It really is. This would be a good digestive, a beer to have when the evening's over. You're sitting out on the patio, watching the sunset, watching the kids, whatever you're doing. Man, this is a great beer. Look at that. Look at that head. Look at that lacing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Fat orange cat. I don't know where they get the recipes. I don't know who owns the recipes. I don't know anything. But if you ever see a beer on the shelf from fat, let me get it over here, from fat orange cat, fat orange cat. And this is uh, somebody, someone in my head, someone in my head, double dry hopped with uh, Simcoe, 8.75%. Unbelievable. Man, dangerous beer. A dang, yeah, man, you got to be careful with these kind of beers because so easy to drink and it makes you want to drink them down. Believe Dr. Dave, you don't want to take any craft beer and drink it straight away because you're just wasting your money. A craft beer is on par with a fine wine these days. You want to smell it. You want to swirl it around. You want to look at the color. You want to taste. You want to appreciate it for what it is. If you want to drink a beer straight away, you might as well get the cheapest beer at the bar. I'm not going to say what beer it was, but I was at Walmart shopping the other day. And I always look at the beer selection, even though I know that they don't really have anything I want. But occasionally they do. Every once in a while especially around the holidays, you'll see some beer at Walmart and say, wow, Walmart's selling that? And I buy it. But they had a 30-pack can, $11.99. 30 12-ounce cans. That is dirt cheap. That, that, is, that is way past dirt cheap. That, that, that beer must be like water. Mm, man, I can't put that down. <laughs> it's a good beer. Hey, life is short. Let's be happy, my friends. But you know what? If you see this beer, if you see, like I said, from Fat Orange Cat, I haven't had a bad beer from Fat Orange Cat ever, ever. Man, that's, that's good beer. Life is short. Let's be happy. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.